Hello, group. I, uh, been thinking about my final video for the year and what I could do uh, to show you some uh, Photoshop stuff that uh, I've been playing with. And it's based on some actions uh, that I've purchased over the years. Uh, some are from Photographing Space. I think they're like 24 bucks. Very good actions. Um, a plug-in from uh, Deep Space, I think they're called. It's the Astro Flats Pro plugin. And uh, in maybe six or seven steps, I can take an image uh, using my LDHR technique and in minutes, <laughs> I, this really amazes me, in minutes I can get something that's gorgeous. So what I want to do is show you uh, what it looks like or how, it, how the flow goes and uh, I'll open up Photoshop. And I'm going to take an image that I shot with the Raza. This was one of the last images that I got from uh, this year, uh, which would have been in September. It's been painfully long since I've been out. And uh, the image has some problems. Uh, it's got some vignetting, which uh, I'm slowly working on. Uh, in fact, well, Photoshop is booting. I will get the adapter. I found an adapter from an Italian company for my Raza that's going to let me use two inch filters. And it's this guy here. So the two inch filter goes in the back and then uh, this goes into the, uh, in place of the current camera the uh, T42 uh, millimeter threads uh, that I'm using now on the Raza with a spacer, and then this would replace that. So I would put the two inch filter in the back, and then put my camera with the right spacing. Uh, that's one of the things I have to do because this is a little taller than my current uh, adapter. So I have to recalc my uh, back focus. But the company is A-R-T-E-S-K-Y. And they're in uh, Milan, Italy. And I found them through uh, an article that I read on amateur astronomy. Amateur Technology, what's, what's the name of that? <laughs> I don't want to destroy their name. That would be very unkind of me. It's Astronomy Technology Today. And uh, using Bing Translator, I sent off an email and uh, a gentleman by the name of Luca got back to me and uh, he sent me a PayPal invoice which I paid and he shipped this off. It took, uh, believe it or not, it only took three days uh, to get to me, which is amazing considering it, it has to go through customs. So now I can use two two inch adapters on my Raza instead of the inch and a quarters that are buried deep in the camera. And uh, because the Raza is so touchy with back focus, I've been having trouble getting rid of the vignetting. So now that my uh, Photoshop is open, I will select the image. And you'll see that the image is very flat looking. 
it's got some problems in the corners here, here. And I had a little drift, but this was a very long image and uh, or an, a very long capture because I was using uh, exposure. Where's the exposure? I was using 50 seconds for the exposure. So there's um, the stack is 36 frames. So that's almost 36 minutes of, uh, of stack here. So what I'm going to do just to show you, uh, to make my life a little easier is I'm going to get rid of my problem areas and I'm going to crop this image. Oops. And I'll drop the, the bands. So this is a, a easier image. You always want to remove those black borders on your images because when you start processing, uh, it will look at those. It looks at the whole image. So if you've got a big black line at the bottom of your image, that's going to affect any, any post-processing that you do. So you always want to remove that. So now I'm going to go to my image and I'm going to convert it to a 16-bit. And what that'll do is with these plugins that I have now, it likes the bit depth. So the more bit tape depth you can throw at these images, when you start posting, post-processing on them at a higher bit level, there's just a lot more room to do stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of my gradients, my vignetting, and the sky glow. And to do that, I'm going to open a filter from Pro Digital Software uh, called Astro Flat Pro. And I think normally this is a $34 uh, plugin for Photoshop, and I got it for $24 as a special because I own some of their other uh, actions. And what you can see is it's removed a lot of my problems, which is basically what a flat would do. A flat's going to remove your gradients, your sky glow, and the vignetting. And just to show you, I'll go to default settings. And uh, what that's done is I I have a little bit of a problem here, so I'm just going to up this to 32. My edges, if you see uh, up in the corners, if you look in the corners, that's where my vignetting was, and that's what this edge cleanup does. So I'm kind of liking 24. And then the dark noise. Uh, you can see what's happening with me in this dark noise when I move the slider a lot. So I'm kind of liking 20. Four for that also. So I'm happy with this image. It's gotten rid of my problems. Uh, and what this will allow me to do is really push the image. So I'm going to say OK to this. And you can see the change once it takes effect. I mean, it's day and night. The difference. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run some actions that I have. And the first set of actions, there's three of them, are from photographing space. And I'm going to use this uh, clarity sky number four. These are different strengths and the bigger the number the more powerful the effect is. So I'm going to use number four, and I'll run it. And you can see what it's done. Close this. Is look right in here. It's kind of popped these areas of the North American. And I'm liking that. So the next action I'm going to run is from the same company. And I'm going to do, just looking at the image, I'm going to 
say that there's medium noise in the image, and I'll run this. And it's done. So if you look in here, you will see that it's removed a ton of that noise that was in the image. So I'm liking this. And then the next action I'm going to run is this min star. And what this will do is it will look at all the stars in the image and shrink them. And that's kind of what we want. We don't want the stars to overpower your image. Uh, you could have a little star bloat because of a filter you were using, or uh, the skies were just uh, muddy enough that they were bloating the stars, or you could have a halo. And what this will do is shrink the stars. So just to show you how well this works, I'll pick the biggest uh, effect, which is number five, and I'll run it. And you can see, just by looking at the stars in here, that's with it on, that's with it off. That's with it on, that's with it off, that's with it on. So I really like this. Now the next thing I want to do is go down to uh, the astronomy tools, which is from uh, the same company, Pro Digital Software. They have a ton of actions. And I want to look for the enhanced deep sky object and reduce stars. So I'm going to select that and run it. Now this one's going to take a little while because it's really doing some number crunching. Uh, and this one is just going to pop the whole thing. It's reducing the size of the stars. And again, this is, uh, I'm running OBS Studio, so uh, <laughs> this little computer's doing a lot of work right now. Uh, these actions, or anything you do in Photoshop at 16-bit, is totally dependent on your hardware. So the uh, more horsepower you have, the faster this stuff goes. Should be done shortly. Again, it normally wouldn't take this long, but because I have OBS Studio running in the background to capture the screen, uh, this computer's doing a lot of work. It's an eight core machine, or I'm sorry, it's a four core machine, eight threads. Still doing a lot of work. And there we go. And you can see, before I even switch this layer on and off, is that it has really brought out the nebulosity that's in the, the, the faint nebulosity that's in the uh, North American region. And that would be way this stuff out here, this stuff down in here, 
Let's help this. So now what I want to do is I want to copy this layer and I'll make a level. And I'll pull the blacks in. Bring the whites in to maybe 170. Uh, 180 looks good. Now I'll copy this. We'll show you the difference. I'll duplicate that, make a curve. And because I'm not too concerned with the histogram at this point, I'm just going to do a very light curve. And I don't want to blow my stars up, so I'm going to pull the, the top down, and that keeps my stars small. So you can see, I just brightened it up a little bit. Overall brightness, which I, I, I personally like. I've got some great contrast in this, and this is a gorgeous looking image. So I could do uh, a little more work on this by going into Camera Raw and uh, duplicate the wire, uh, go into Camera Raw, and maybe reduce some noise that I'm seeing in there. But you know, there's nothing wrong with what I have right now. So. Uh, using uh, four actions and one plugin, I went from this image to this image. Big difference. And what allowed me to do that was that Astro Flat Pro plugin. By removing the gradients, the sky glow, and any dust bunnies I might have, I can push the heck out of this thing. Just doing, I'm not doing any work. It's all actions doing the work, which is really a godsend. So that's all I have, group. Hope you liked it. And uh, if you need more information, just let me know. I'll post it on the, uh, below uh, the video. So we'll see you later. Catch you on the group.